Hello and welcome to The Wrap Studios. I'm Beatrice Verhoeven and we're at the Sundance Film Festival. We're about to talk The Night House with the director David Bruckner and the cast and I'm so excited to talk about it. Really messed me up. So thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so David, I wanted to start with you. You're not new to Sundance. Um, you're not new to the horror genre either. Why was this project different for you? Uh, why it was different? Uh, it was just challenging in uh, several new ways. I mean, the uh, there's a confounding kind of labyrinthian aspect uh, to the plot and the mystery, and so that was a lot of plates to keep spinning, you know, as we move through it. And uh, and it really, really focused on uh, a central performance in a way that uh, I, I had never, you know, had a chance to do. And um, you know, we had Rebecca carrying the movie, and uh, we spent large parts of the movie. Uh, with just Rebecca doing uh, various things as she digs herself a deeper hole uh, into the nightmare. But, uh, uh, yeah, it was fun in that way, um, and uh, it, was, it was complex. Yeah. It was a challenge. For you, you play a woman who is going through something, no one understands her, you're kind of alone, and you're... You, how did you get into that mindset of just, like, spiraling inside your own mind, but it was actually happening? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think when the script is good and you can imagine it when you're reading it, then yeah. the job is just trying to match your imagination with what you end up doing when they say action. So I, it's kind of as simple as that. I don't know what else to say. What were the scenes like for you guys when, like, you weren't kind of, you were kind of there, but you weren't? And then especially, like, the scenes at the end, no spoiler, but, you know, there are scenes when we don't really see Owen. What were those scenes like to shoot? Uh, really weird. <laughs> really, I bet. Really you mean the scenes when he was not there? Yeah. For yeah. him? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, yeah. I was eating, I was eating, I think eating you were back on my own. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like, yeah. but, uh, you know, for the scenes that we were in, also, yeah. like, the sort of yeah. state that, that, that this particular, uh, entity yeah. character is, um, uh, was, really strange from the inside and I'm sure really strange for you it was uh, sort of an antithetical to acting it was like you know you're in a scene together but don't really play the scene together like yeah. more for yeah. you I mean you yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. don't look don't like you know mm -hmm. it was definitely a but I feel like you had to just fun. like act, act with nothing with nothing yeah. yeah you had to I like did. you know and I had to, all the physical stuff was, was really was, was fascinating would you say that was like the biggest challenge for you um, yeah, definitely. It's not, I mean, it's, it's definitely a weird ask. I, again, I don't want to do too many spoilers, but it's a weird ask to, you know, have to enact physical things with nothing. <laughs> it's like more of a, like, dance, really. It yeah. feels like movement, like, work or something. But I was sort of inventing it on the fly a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But it was... <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's yeah. really no way. You just kind of, you have to tee it up and just uh, just kind of go for it. Yeah. And she was yeah, totally was fearless. And it wasn't until sure. we sort of saw some of those moments that we had any idea where we were heading. So. It was very interesting yeah. to watch because you just, you just kind of feel like he's there. But he's not. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Which I'm sure you wanted. Just years of mime class. <laughs> 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 was it? <laughs> Never done any mime. Should it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of do it when you touch... Owen's yeah. character. Oh, I know. It was, it was definitely a mime-like uh, situation. <laughs> that was pretty good. Totally. I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what drew you to the project? A lot of it was my conversation with David. I really loved how he spoke about the film and how he spoke about the different layers of how you can view this film and how you can interpret what Beth's character is going through. And I really enjoyed the idea of... Um, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but the uncertainty of my character and how you don't really know how they're going to be together and how they're going to go through things. And I didn't really know how it was going to go until we shot all of our scenes together and I was really surprised. And then David said to me on set something um, that freaked me out but was actually really important that he said, oh, well, we don't really know if your character is real. I thought, oh. 
great. This is terrifying to hear. You have a whole other perspective on it. Yeah. Another. Yeah. Well, there are always yeah. two ways to read the whole film. Yeah, and now there's like multiple. Though. Now you have to watch it again. There's layers and layers and layers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And um, I know we don't have that much time, but I wanted to ask you, did you, you mentioned Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. did, did you draw on any other, you know, kind of those films for inspiration for this one? Uh, oh, inspiration for this. Uh, I mean, a lot of this was just... Uh, you know, we talked a lot about uh, just sort of late night spirals of anxiety. We used, to, we used to say just sort of a lot of it was sort of motivated by a feeling um, and uh, trying to get as much of, you know, kind of a personal take on what it is to be kind of isolated. And so uh, I think as far as like specific films that influenced it, I think probably every haunt film that we've ever seen in a way, you know, um, uh, we talked a lot about Turn of the Screw, you know, going all the way back to that where there's you know, which was the initial question of, you know, is this happening in someone's mind or is it something overt that's happening in the world? Is it external? Is it internal? And um, I think that uh, there's there's a long history uh, of that kind of exploration in, in ghost stories, and that's yeah. something that we embraced. For sure. Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.